insufficient or inactive pollen. Symptoms Immature fruit may turn brown starting from the blossom end, shrivel and abort. If fruit do not abort and continue to develop, they are often misshapen and or stunted with poor seed production. Conditions for symptom development Cucurbits require insect vectors, example, honeybees, for pollination. If the bee population is either low or inactive, there will not be sufficient pollen transferred from male to female flowers. Rain, hot or cold temperatures and disease can limit bee activity. Cucurbits are not successfully pollinated in cool, cloudy weather. Extremes in weather conditions are unfavorable to pollen viability. Control. Follow planting guidelines for your region. To ensure proper pollination, beehives should be placed in or near cucurbit fields. Avoid excessive nitrogen fertilization in order to promote blossom formation and minimize vegetative growth. Avoid or minimize the use of pesticides during the pollination period. In protected culture production, parthenocarpic varieties, i.e., cucumber and zucchini, are best suited for these growing conditions, as fruits are set without pollination. Cucumber with calcium deficiency. Growth is retarded and inter modes are shortened. Leaf margins stop, expanding and leaves cup downward. New root growth is impaired. Blossom and rot of the fruit may occur. Main cause. Lack of light for plants to photosynthesize. Plants cannot absorb calcium in the soil. Has not provided the appropriate calcium threshold for plants. Plants under physiological stress, poisoning by pesticides, foliar fertilizers. Antagonism of nutritional elements. Solutions. Maintain nutrient solution for watering plants, with calcium, ppm, from about 160 to 180 ppm, depending on variety. If the weather is rainy for many days, increase calcium to max 200 ppm. Supplementing calcium through leaves, can use calcium bow, calcium chelate, amino calcium, 3 to 5 times depending on the degree of calcium deficiency. Do not use pesticides too much, foliar fertilizers containing many microelements will easily cause poisoning. Especially, in the period before pollination and pollination. Cucumber with Potassium Deficiency Young leaves on potassium deficient plants are small and dull appearing and assume a cupped appearance. Leaves develop peripheral chlorosis, which eventually becomes intervenal. Cucumber fruit is often narrow at the stem end, giving the fruit a club-shaped appearance. Cantaloupe fruit develops gritty flesh and a bitter taste. Solutions To add potassium to the plant there are many ways. Additional spray through leaves mixed with potassium nitrate plus MKP, potassium sulfate. When the plant begins to have mild symptoms of potassium deficiency, maintaining a stable potassium threshold suitable for each crop object, if necessary we will add potassium to the solution of irrigation for the plant by increasing tank B and tank D paying attention to only a small increase but increase in the long term will help the plant replenish better, do not increase too much antagonism between nutritional elements. Melon with molybdenum deficiency. Symptoms similar to nitrogen deficiency. Plants are stunted. Leaves develop marginal and intervenal chlorosis, which may lead to a scorched appearance. Silver leaf whitefly. Leaf silvering symptoms have been observed on all types of squash and are common in many zucchini varieties. Symptoms further develop intervenally until the entire upper leaf surface is distinctively silver. Silvering does not occur on the underside of the leaf. When leaf silvering is severe, fruit color is lighter than normal. Yield reductions and poor fruit quality are usually associated with leaf silvering. Conditions for symptom development. 
Squash silver leaf is a physiological disorder induced by feeding of immature stages of Bemigia tabasi biotype B on squash leaves. When population density is high, adults of B, tabasi biotype B, are capable of inducing squash silver leaf. Severity of leaf silvering in response to whitefly feeding varies among squash genotypes. The genetic controlled manifestation of silver leaf is confined to silvering along the axles of leaf veins. Genetically controlled silvering does not progress intervenally. Control. Help control whitefly infestations with insecticides, biological control agents, plastic mulch and or removal of whitefly infested leaves. Excessive soluble salts. Symptoms. Cucurbits are moderately sensitive to salinity. Excess salts may damage roots, resulting in stunted plants with reduced yields. Affected plants often appear darker green than normal in the early stages of salt injury. Due to salt accumulation, leaf margins eventually become white and or yellow, and then necrotic. Crops with salt injury grown in artificial substrate often tend to be more susceptible to wilting during the hottest hours of the day, even when the moisture level is sufficient. Conditions for Symptom Development Many agricultural soils in arid climates are high in soluble salts. Additionally, irrigation water often contains excess salts. During irrigation, salts may not leach sufficiently from the root zone resulting in salt accumulation. This problem is more severe in soils that drain poorly. Control. Measure the electrical conductivity EC, of the soil, growing substrate and irrigation water to determine salt content. Avoid excessive fertilization. Where soil has good drainage, it may be possible to reclaim saline soil by applying sufficient water to leach salts beyond the root zone. For greenhouse-grown crops in substrate, irrigate in excess of container capacity to prevent salt buildup. Adverse Environmental Conditions Symptoms Blossom end rot, the blossom end of the fruit develops a dark, leathery appearance. Symptoms may progress until the entire end of the fruit turns black and rots. Hollow heart Cracks in internal watermelon fruit flesh can occur due to accelerated growth in response to ideal growing conditions. Light belly color. This disorder is characterized by the undersurface of cucumber fruit remaining light in color instead of turning dark green. Measles. Symptoms are most evident on smooth-skinned melons and cucumbers. Small brown spots are scattered over the surface of the fruit. The spots are superficial and do not penetrate beyond the outer epidermal layers of the fruit. These spots also may occur on leaves and stems. Rhine necrosis generally occurs in either cantaloupe or watermelon as dead, hard, dry reddish-brown to brown spots or patches of tissue in the fruit rind. Affected areas vary in size from 3 mm spots to extensive dead areas throughout the entire rind. In watermelon, symptoms are not visible from the outside and are rarely found in the flesh. In cantaloupe, dead tissue may extend into the flesh of the fruit. Circular, water-soaked depressions also develop on the cantaloupe fruit surface. Sunscald, papery white areas develop on fruit. Conditions for symptom development. Blossom and rot. This disorder is associated with insufficient calcium uptake and alternating periods of wet and dry soil. Damage to the root system may also account for decreased calcium uptake and the development of blossom end rot. Hollow heart, there is a genetic component to this disorder, but growing conditions can account for much of the variation observed. It appears to be associated with conditions that result in poor pollination, enough pollination to set the fruit but not enough to fertilize a high percentage of the ovules, followed by rapid fruit growing conditions, too much fertility, water and high temperatures. Light belly color, commonly occurs on fruit lying on cool, moist soil. Measles, associated with environmental conditions favoring gutation. The gutation droplets develop high concentrations of salts which burn the epidermis. Measles spots occur ere a gutation droplet had formed. Rhine necrosis, not well understood. 
However, it is thought that environmental conditions which place stress on the plants may trigger the onset of this disorder. Susceptibility to rind necrosis varies among varieties. The disorder occurs sporadically and is thought to be associated with bacteria that may be present in fruit, but the reasons for symptom development are not understood. Drought stress also is reported to predispose melons. Sunscald develops during hot summer weather and fruit are suddenly exposed to direct sunlight. Control. Blossom end rot, minimized by mulching to maintain constant soil moisture, applying calcium fertilizers and avoiding high levels of nitrogen. Drip irrigate crop to control water management. Hollow heart, avoid watermelon varieties with a tendency to exhibit hollow heart. Implement best practices for irrigation and fertilization programs. Light belly color, can be partially controlled by avoiding luxuriant vine growth. Avoid excessive nitrogen. Measles, control measles by reducing irrigation frequency and duration as fruit approach maturity in fall harvested crops. Irrigation reduction at the later stages of fruit development has not shown any adverse effects on fruit size and soluble solid content. Rind necrosis, genetic tolerance, has been identified in watermelon. Avoid drought stress in melon. Sunscald, minimize by maintaining strong vine growth to ensure the fruit is covered. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe.